Witajcie od widzowie, jestem Michał Wontajna, a dzisiaj znowu jesteśmy w porcie. Jeszcze jesteśmy w porcie, ale już niedługo, bo musimy przemieścić się do pewnego miejsca w Szkocji. Did you find everything to your liking? Indeed, you are as good as your word. I found the charts just as you said. Does the name Ardna Merkham mean anything to you? Ah, yes. It's a lighthouse along that very coastline. Legend has it, the place was built over a pirate's hideaway. In fact, now that I think on it, that spot is right in the middle of the tempest that is taking down all oh. those ships. Rather odd-looking building. They say the chap who built it, Stevenson, I believe his name was, that he fancied up the entrance with foreign symbols, Egyptian obelisks and, and even a dog with wings. Strange fixings for a lighthouse, isn't it? Hmm, no to do Ardnamurham, czy jakoś tak? Ardnamurham? Um, dobrze. A zatem, potrzebujemy teraz e, chyba zawitać do naszego kolegi e, księgarza. Mr. Holmes, that gent Barnes is looking for you. He says to come quick. Most urgent news. Ooh. It's urgent. Do, 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 do. So urgent. Do, 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 do. It's so urgent news. Let me see how urgent our love can be. It's urgent. A zatem co ma pan dla nas, panie Barnes? Mr. Holmes, I was able to translate the pages that you wanted. Come, I will show you. This book is quite ancient. It tells of a terrifying sect devoted to strange entities. The descriptions are vague, but we can presume the origin of this myth arises from the destructive Leviathan represented in the Bible, a creature said to sleep and dream in a strange city under the sea. A nightmare sleeping within the sea. To be exact, the pages you asked me to translate are in fact a prayer or invocation to this entity and the description of the ceremony associated with it. To be frank, what is described in this book would make one laugh were it not for its reliance on such horribly obscene, morbid and bloodthirsty language. And this ceremony, what can you tell me about it? Promise me, you will not laugh. The book says that hundreds or thousands of years ago, during a particular alignment of the stars, a priest performed these rites, invoking the name of a destructive leviathan. The priest intoned his name and called for his return to this earth so his followers could give him his due. The priest then asked a representative of each nation on the earth to recite the invocation and sacrifice themselves to the sea from atop a colossal natural rock tower surrounded by water. All this is quite absurd, isn't it? Pray continue, Barnes. As you like. It goes on to say that the ceremony must be held under the image of the messenger of the outside gods. Nothing more exact is said on these entities. However, from their description, their messenger would have a form rather close to the Egyptian Sphinx, except that his face is without feature and jet black in color. So an idol in its likeness must be present during the ceremony. But can you imagine that? Some so-called priest and an international crowd atop a tower singing in unison before some faceless winged stone lion? I can imagine it very well, Barnes. You say that these people are to throw themselves into the sea so that their god will have his due. But what is it about? What does this god seek? That's the most preposterous part of this tale and proves it to be pure myth and fancy. Even for the sake of argument, this ceremony could never have happened. In such ancient times, it would have been quite impossible to gather representatives from every nation on earth and in one place. I understand, Barnes. Humor me a bit more and please answer my last question. What would this Leviathan want from us? Indeed, we would owe this creature our world. 
According to this, complete the ceremony and the collective sacrifice, invoke the demon, and he will arise and swallow the earth. <laughs> yes, Holmes, they sought nothing less than the end of the world. <laughs> what nonsense! <laughs> Thank you, Barnes. I must leave now. Goodbye. The newspaper dating before our departure. Watson, find it. There was some article about the current alignment of the stars. This oh, may tell shit. us precisely how much time we have left. But Holmes, surely you can't believe... The newspaper, Watson. Find that newspaper. Look, Watson! The light is barely lit! This explains the shipwrecks and recent disappearances! Holmes! If we do not find a place to land, and soon, I fear they will add our names to those poor souls lost in these seas! The sea! It just swallowed him! Lambs for the slaughter! Watson, we must stop this! Stało się coś tutaj bardzo niedobrego. Jak może połknęło? It is sealed tight from the inside. Oh, Co to wszystko może znaczyć? Watson. It is sealed tight. They took particular pains to give this statue a featureless black face. Watson, here are three geezers of seawater. We could do well to remember what McGrinty's man said before they slit his throat. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Watson, here... This isn't right. Perhaps if I... Watson... We must act quickly, Holmes. Oh, ma nową zezwa. This way is... 
This way is... Hmm. Zobaczmy w tej książce, co tam napisali. This isn't right. Perhaps if I be Watson. Oh. Oh. This isn't right. Weźmy do gejzerów jeszcze raz. Watson! This must be the place. You know my methods, Watson. Let's examine the soil closely. Oh. I begin to think those pirate tales are more than mere superstitions. You may well be right, Holmes. And about the ghost? Who knows, Watson? Who knows? Holmes! <laughs> Come on, Watson. We are men of science, aren't we? A real danger waits for us in this lighthouse, if we reach it. To reassure you, I will take the lead and go down first. Let's see. It seems to me it is rather an abrupt descent. How should we go about this? I must take care not to fall inside. I must take care not to fall inside. Hmm, I must take care not to fall inside. This rope is hardly reliable, but it's the best that we have.
I must take care not to fall inside. I must take... <coughs> Let's see, man. What's on? Holmes! Holmes! Can you hear me? Holmes! Are you all right? Don't worry, Watson. I appear to still be in one piece. This rope is finished. But fortune is on our side, as the lantern is undamaged. This ground is unstable. I dare not take a step without the light. Holmes! I will try to join you! No, Watson, stay where you are. This rope is useless. We are quite separated, my friend. I will try to find the way to the lighthouse alone. Although, to be honest, I would feel much better with a weapon at my side. No, keep your pistol. It could discharge if dropped. Here now, I have an idea. Toss me that iron bar instead. Watch out! Watson, what rotten luck! It is stuck! Shit. Holmes! I can't understand what you are saying! I can barely make him out. Bad luck. The hole must be blocked with debris. From now on, I have only my wits to serve me. No cóż, Holmesie, pomożemy ci. A zatem... Chyba tędy. Innej drogi za bardzo nie ma. Oh, ktoś tutaj był, ale... This skeleton has fossilized. It must have been here for years. The only foe I could hope to beat with that is a serving of pudding. And even then, only if it were lightly prepared. Słabo. A, głaz tutaj spadł. Shit. Dobra. Zatem gdzie byśmy się mieli udać? Tu coś może być. I need something. Kurda. Rozpawił się ze stelet. No i idźmy dalej. Co nas tutaj czeka? Wow. Poor devil, alcohol has killed him. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Co tutaj zrobimy? Hmm. Ale co czeka nas dalej w tych otchłaniach, że tak to się wyraża, dowiemy się już w kolejnym odcinku. Dziękuję za uwagę.